gang, how you doing? Uh, Stovepipe here, going to do uh, Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. <clears throat> Jimi played this a thousand different ways, so um, uh, if you're looking for a note-to-note, -note, uh, you know, note-for-note -note exact uh, sort of thing, you might pick a version and just work on it. There are some signature licks in this thing, not only in the uh, rhythm, but in the uh, lead that uh, fairly simple stuff, uh, pentatonic based, blue scale based. But if you play and people are like, <laughs> they're like, cool. Uh, so <clears throat> basically, he kicks this thing off with a fairly standard uh, uh, little run here. On your B string, just start somewhere around the third fret, just slide down to the fifth. Slide back to the third. You can even get the E string involved if you play them together. Okay. Now, from there, come up to your G string. Pull off at the second fret. And drop down a whole uh, cowboy E chord. And then hit an upstroke. Okay. So basically, just like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> beginning, just slide, slide back, pull off from your G string, second fret. power chord, pull off, so, so it's G power chord, <clears throat> on and off, F sharp to an E, so it goes, okay, okay, G power chord, off, on, off, F sharp, E, power chord. Okay. Another one of the signature moves is do a uh, hammer on pull off on your A string and second fret, and then on your D string hit the open string. So it goes, open A, hammer on, and then hit your uh, D string on the F string. So it goes. Okay. Just a. Okay. Same thing on the walk down. It's just a power chord. So guys, play that up the neck. I just find it super easy since I'm already kind of right here. So basically, he's nice and slow the whole beginning. Got it. No gymnastics involved there. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. But that's the thing about Hendrix. He played the coolest stuff um, without, um, you, s you know, you don't have to stretch your hands out. He just, he just played a different way, and uh, that was super cool, and that's why his stuff stands up now. His stuff holds up so well. Okay, so that's, that's the opening lick. Now let's get into the chord progression. Essentially, some people call this circle of fourths or whatever, but basically, look at the shapes and the relationship to each other. And basically, it's just C, G, D, A, and an E. Okay? So... C power chord right here. G power chord. See, I'm just sliding that same shape up a string. Now, do that exact same thing down a whole step. At your D right here. Slide that whole thing up to A. And then remember your E down here. Okay. So it goes. I tried to do 
do that about every other time. First time down, I'll go. Stay on down. around with it at the tail end put a little backbeat thing on it and <laughs> and get the girls up dancing but um, yeah some of the signature licks uh, that the main main signature lick at least for me and again there are a thousand different ways that Jimmy played this song uh, depending on his particular mood uh, you know he didn't set his guitar on fire every night it's when he felt like it so uh, the way he played uh, this song was dependent completely on his mood, you know, that night. But there were some things that, that pretty much stayed put. Things is right down here to your E uh, blue scale. Signature licks. That you're going to watch out for us. Come down here at the uh, B string, the 15th fret. Bend that up. Bend really. Release to the 12. So, so go up. Okay. Come to your uh, G string at your 14th fret. And this is a little more complicated on the pull off, but it's ending up at the root on your D string. Let's go play those two together. Some other things that I like to stick in there. It, it, I, this is rhythmically for me. Uh, you can play that over off that hemiola on and off the the beat where. Okay. You could also play which all I'm doing is walking up. Just walking right up the uh, the blues go. Now, another thing you can do is bar your index finger across these th these three strings, your um, your G, B, and E at the 12th fret, okay? Then hit your uh, G and B, and then land back at the 14th fret on your D string. Bending your, uh, your G and B slightly. Twist it. Just a little bit, land back on that 14. I use that rhythmically an awful lot. Also. Just back and forth. Plus, it's right there in that, that little Chuck Berry region, you know, where you. So, there's all kinds of meat in there around this progression. Just 
all of that stuff you can just kind of kind of freak on a little bit do uh, basically um, uh, what I did there at the end was uh, take your uh, your G string at your 14th fret bend it up okay if you, you notice I generally use two strings to bend because I can you know make those E strings kiss together so just bend it up now you'll see I have my at the 12th fret I have the B and E bar so bend up and then hit those uh, hit your bar there what I like to do is once I get that bent I strum it release a little bit depending on whatever rhythm's going on okay then I'll normally finish that lick by then moving my two fingers that were bending a string I'll move them up and fret the 14th street string at the B the B string the 14th fret and the E string at the 15th fret so it'll go it'll sound like like this tone so basically it's, it's, this is the whole leg no. so one thing that we'll do generally is uh, at the very end of this thing we'll uh, we'll just kind of mess with it mess with the beat itself to um, <clears throat> best start with the timing the rhythm a little bit but uh, hey Joe Jimi Hendrix cool tune um, tons of uh, licks really not a bad note even if you want to slide down to uh, tons of stuff down there in the uh, the old uh, the, you know the end of the neck same thing uh, just transpose your licks down uh, but uh, hey Joe Jimi Hendrix uh, we've been playing this song forever uh, thanks for hanging out appreciate it